So let us take a look at how you can build a currency converter application. All right. So we are going to work around three files over here, like index.js, index.html and style.css. All right. So we'll begin writing the code in the HTML file. Now, what all this application is going to have is it is going to have an uh, drop down, which is going to help users select from where he wishes or in which unit he wishes to convert the temperature in. All right. And then we'll also have a text box where the user can enter the temperature he wishes to convert. And along with that, we'll have a convert button. Okay. Which user can click and get the temperature converted. So let's go. I'll just have exclamation over here and I'll just get some boilerplate code ready over here. All right. Now, once we have boilerplate code, I'll update the title. So I'll say temperature converter over here. Okay. And then within the body, I'll again have the H1 tag. So I'll just copy this entirely and I'll just rename this to H1. All right. So you have temperature converter. Okay. Here you can see. So, so now what we need to do is we need to add an input. Okay. So the input is of uh, type text over here. Okay. So type text and uh, I'll have a placeholder as well. I'll say enter temperature. Okay. And uh, I'll close this. Let's add an ID element also over here. So the ID for this can be, oops, over here. So this, this is, so the ID for this can be temp or temperature, whatever you wish to. I'll just keep it short for temp. Okay. Now if you see, you have this enter temperature text field over here. All right. Now this is done. Now we need to have a select, which is a drop down. I'm going to call this, I'm going to assign this a ID of unit. And within this, I'm going to have option over here. Okay. Now option will be of type value and the value is C. Now the display is Celsius. Okay. Something like this. And if you come over here, you're going to see Celsius up here. Okay. I'm going to like duplicate this over here and instead of C, I'm going to have F over here and I'm going to have Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit something like this. Okay. So if you come over here now, you're going to see Celsius and Fahrenheit, which is, which is good enough. All right. Now, depending on the selection, C and F will be passed to the application or whatever selector or wherever you're passing the value. Okay. Now over here, you can have a button. Okay. I'll add button as a convert over here. The ID is convert and I'll add text as convert over here. Okay. And then we also need to display the converted value. So I'll say converted temperature over here. So what is the con converted temperature? I'll add a span to display the temperature. Okay. So I'll say span over here and uh, we'll have zero initially and I can add an ID of uh, converted something like this. Okay. This is done. So you can see over here. This is what the interface looks like right now. All right. Now we can quickly link it to our application. So I'll say script over here. I'll say SRC and I'll say index.js and I'll close it. Okay. We'll also link the CSS part. So I'll say link rel and I'll say style sheet. Okay. And I'll say, I'll add href over here as styles.css and I'll close this. Okay. So this is done so far. So good. You can see this is the application. Now we need to begin with the JavaScript part. All right. So now what we need to do is we'll first. So first on the click of this, the code should be executed, right? So we need to get that button. Okay. So we can say document dot get element by ID because we are making use of ID over here. Okay. And I can say convert over here. All right. And uh, what should happen? So on click of this, we want to execute something. So I'll say on click over here and I'll execute a function. A function does not have a name. It does not have any sort of parameters. 
and uh, align this with a semicolon first and now within this function we can add whatever we want to or whatever code we want to display or whatever code we want to execute basically on the button click so i'll first create a couple of variables over here temperature and i'll get the unit also now we first need to get the temperature as well as unit okay so i'll say document dot get element by id and we need to get temp dot value over here now why temp dot value okay so here this is temp so we are getting first the value that the user has entered and then we also need to get the unit that the user has selected right so what i would do is i would copy this over here or wait a minute we need to complete this so the value that we are getting over here will be in string format i don't want to make use of string so we need to preserve the decimal values as well so what is the right choice over here yes as you can see i'm making use of parse float why am i using parse float because user might enter a decimal value so i need to get the decimal value as well for precision all right now i'll get this document dot get element by id over here and i'll get the unit over here now okay so this has to be in this has to be as a string okay so i'll say unit something like this okay this is done so far so good okay and uh, once we have the unit and the temperature what we can do is uh, we can actually write some code on the basis of which the conversion will happen right now what should be that code so we'll we'll have to make use of decision making over here all right so if the user selects fahrenheit one formula is applied if the user selects celsius and clicks convert another formula is applied so depending on what is selected over here the formula application changes all right so let me show you the formula first okay so the formula is to convert celsius to fahrenheit we'll say temperature into 9 divided by 5 over here plus 32 this is a formula that we are going to make use of so this is going to convert c to f okay and uh, then to convert fahrenheit to celsius we are going to say temp minus 32 and uh, we are going to say into 9 divided by 5 all right so these two are the formulas okay let me also mention this over here so this will convert f to that of c all right now how do we know which formula we want to execute all right so i'll say so what i will do is i'll say if unit is equal to c okay so if unit is c right so if the user has selected celsius over here in the drop down what should happen is we should convert c to f right because then so we should execute this right or if it's not true then we can execute this all right and we can have this part in the pair of round braces and even this part in the pair of round braces for clarity all right something like this okay and then i can assign the output of this to converted temp over here which is a variable okay and uh, if i come over here oops so if i come over here i can so we have this converted temp we can display this converted temp so how will i display it i'll copy this text and we need to display it in id converted right is that the id that we give okay uh, so the id is converted yes we need to display it in the span right so converted dot i'll say text content and i'll say converted temp dot i can just display converted temp let us see what is what is the value that we see so let's say the temperature is 100 i select celsius so this is celsius right so i need to convert it to fahrenheit so this is 212 okay now if you want to verify this you can just google celsius to fahrenheit and you'll come across this uh, calculator on google itself google search so you can enter 100 and you can see the output as 212 all right we can do the same for fahrenheit if you select fahrenheit and say convert the temperature in celsius is 
0.4. And you can verify this over here. I have Googled now Fahrenheit to Celsius. So this is Celsius to Fahrenheit. This is Fahrenheit to Celsius. So if I say 100, I get, okay. So there is something, one second. So there's 100 Fahrenheit and I'm converting. Okay, so my conversion, it seems is wrong. So it should be actually 37 degrees Celsius. Okay, but I'm getting 122. So if you come over here, maybe something is wrong in the formula. Okay, so this cannot be, okay, so this should be, not nine by five, this should be five by nine over here. And now if you come, if I enter 100 Fahrenheit convert, you can see 37.7778. Okay, so now it's proper. All right, there was a mistake in the formula. So be sure to make use of this formula. All right, so, so now this is not looking good, right? It's seven, 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 a lot of sevens and then eight. So I would want to move it to fixed decimals or fixed position of two places. So what I can do over here is I can say convert a temp dot to fixed and I can say two over here. You can see number of digits. So this allows you to mention the number of digits after decimal point and must, must be in the range of zero to two, zero to 20, I'm sorry, inclusive. So if I save this and if you come here, if I enter 100, Celsius is fine. Okay, it will give zero, zero. If you add Fahrenheit, you'll see 37.78. All right. So this is how the temperature converter is working. Uh, pretty much, uh, pretty simple. All right. But with the help of JavaScript, we are able to do a lot, right? Now let's take a look at the styling over here. Okay. We'll keep the styling as uh, really simple over here. I'll just type in a few, uh, I'll just type in like a few styles okay like style uh, I'll, I'll just type in few style elements so i'll just add a few style elements over here so for on family uh, let's select this one over here okay text align i'll keep center and uh, margin as zero and i'll say padding as 20 probably okay and i'll add background color as uh, probably you can add a background as uh, let's see Azure. let's see what it looks like okay uh, does it look good it's okay Azure is looking decent courier is also looking decent okay or you can update the font family if you're not liking this okay so font family can be okay you can uh, select Arial Helvita sensor if you can see this is also okay. All right, depending on your choice, you can choose the font family. Come over to H1 over here. Okay, now for H1, I'm going to see color. Uh, what is the color? You can select uh, probably go down and okay. So you can have blackish. I can update it as well. So you can update it to something like this. Okay. Totally up to you. Or you can stick to black over here. So I'll just get rid of this. I'll just keep black. Simple. Okay. Okay. This is done. Now over here, uh, we can say uh, select and the input. Okay. So I can say input for type as text. Okay. And uh, for select over here. Okay. This is a CSS. Now over here, I can say padding of zero pixel. Okay, I can say font size over here of uh, 16. Okay, then you can have a margin over here for 10 pixels. All right, you can have border radius of uh, five pixels. All right, you can have border over here of one pixel solid and uh, I'll say hash dd okay and then you can have width over here of 200 pixels let us save and see you can see uh, this has changed a bit right looking pretty much decent right you can add more padding if you wish to okay I can increase the padding uh, to let's say 10 Okay, padding was not looking that good, but now it's looking decent. You can see, okay. 
uh, and now let's move on to so on this uh, the next is button over here so let's take a look at button what all we can add okay so for button I'm going to say button over here and scroll down a bit okay so for button we can say background color of uh, let me add blue okay I can say color of uh, white and uh, border is none and uh, I can add padding over here 10 pixels 20 pixels something like this and uh, you can say font okay not font font size font size can be 16 should look decent or uh, we'll modify this if it doesn't okay cursor pointer over here I can say border radius is of uh, 5 pixels something like this and uh, yeah I think this is it if you come here okay it's looking pretty decent you can add a hover effect if you wish to okay so I can say hover on button okay so button hover can be background color and I can say dark blue if you come here you can see this effect right pretty much it all right and uh, now you can add a styling for p tag okay i can say font size and uh, 18 pixels a little bigger than button and the font weight is uh, bold and then uh, color is 333 margin of you can say 20 pixels and zero if you come here okay now let us add so this thing we have which is converted we'll add something to this okay we'll come over here and uh, here converted so for this i'll say color color of uh, you can say i can i'll add it blue okay depending on your preference uh, you can say font size I'll say large and font weight bold let us see how it looks so you can see pretty decent all right standing out you can convert it okay so this is our temperature converter and how it worked is we built out or we wrote some HTML simple HTML a simple tags we used we linked uh, like JavaScript and CSS Within JavaScript, we are getting the convert button and uh, we are adding it an on click, on click listener, okay, which is triggered when you click on it. And then uh, you have these uh, values that you're fetching because on the basis of this, you're going to perform the conversion. Be sure to get it, get the temperature value as float. All right. Then we are converting the temperature with the help of, you can see over here with the help of ternary operator right so you are first checking this is a condition okay you're first checking if unit is equal to celsius if it's equal to celsius then you need to convert celsius to fahrenheit if the current unit is not celsius if it's fahrenheit you need to convert from fahrenheit to celsius and these are the formulas and then you're displaying the converted result uh, uh, with uh, by like truncating the decimal places to up till Right? And then you have some basic styling added for beautification. So I hope you have been able to follow along and I hope this was useful.